New tonight, pot shops popping up near your home. And if you think your neighborhood is immune to this growing business, look here because this map tells a very different story. Look at all of the green elements right here. It really tells that it is pervasive throughout the city. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live. And Emily, this new business model is evolving faster than the laws can regulate it. Yeah, it's going pretty quick. So when you think of a pot shop, you think of a building, four walls and a door. But no, the new kind here in San Diego have these four wheels. We're along for a special delivery. It's hard for people to get busted this way. It's not entirely legal. This is state legal, yes. But not entirely illegal. Now people are getting you know, a little bit braver to get out there before when you were facing a long time prison time. Yeah, it's scary. We're riding with John, not his real name. We're not showing his face either. Here's my recommendation. Okay. I know you guys have it on fire. John operates Green Street Medicinals, one of dozens upon dozens of marijuana delivery services popping up all over the San Diego area. Looks good. And you set up a corporation, you're gonna be a nonprofit, or there's like a couple other choices. Just weighing it out. So there's just a few locally regulated pot dispensary stores in the area. They take months of city approval and hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. But just take a look at this website. It's called Weed Maps, and each of those tabs represents a marijuana delivery service. They're in nearly every neighborhood in the San Diego area. A San Diego City spokeswoman told me that these marijuana delivery services are legally a gray area. The practice has moved faster than local laws can keep up. That's how it is until it's fully legal. You know, you, it's a constant cat and mouse game. So I put in a call to the sheriff's department to find out what the deal is in the county areas, and so far I have not heard anything back. Preston? Well, Emily, this is uh, essentially like old school drug dealing. I mean, taking around the weed to different people. It's somewhat legal. Like you say, there's that gray area. But what does he do about protecting himself? Because these medicinal marijuana places get robbed all the time. Is he concerned for his safety? Well, he says that these people are more like business people, not the drug dealer types that we saw in years past when it was completely illegal. And he says that happens more often when you have a building where people can go to. He says this delivery is actually safer. All right, Emily Valdez live. Thanks so much, Emily.